Welcome back, everyone. Hope your Sunday's been going good. Mine has been going good. We've been staying pretty busy today. Well, anyway, said this morning that we'd go ahead and open up one of these Fairfield Repack boxes that you can get at Walgreens. Uh, like I said, the Walgreens that I got this at put the little sticker on it that says, uh, if intended for sale at Walgreens, uh, found at other places, basically call this number. Uh, a lot of stores don't want you to resell items that they resell, so they try to put these stickers on them. We had to do it uh, when I worked in retail to certain items, mostly laundry detergent, but it was silly because people could just peel them off. Again, we'd like to show you guys this box. We're up to 145 subs now, so thank all you guys that uh, have uh, subbed to the channel and welcome aboard. So anytime I open a box or pack, I kind of like to give you guys a, a look at the outside before we dive on the inside. The back of it there you see just a little bit of information about Fairfield. And of course I get these boxes and anybody can get these boxes at Walgreens. They're about $4.99 before tax. One thing I do uh, need to tell you guys is always look at the bottoms of the box because they're very easy to peek inside. So if the bottom of the box, if one of these little flaps is real loose, don't, don't get it because more than likely it's been tampered with and, and resealed. So, anyway, we'll go ahead and open this up. Looks like our pack's going to be a 90 FLIR pack, perhaps. And we were accurate on that. It's always hit or miss what you're going to get on the pack. Sometimes you get some junk wax like that one. Sometimes you get something like we had earlier with the 2016 opening day or whatever. So let's split this in half and see, see who we can pull out of this. So we'll start with Steve Finley. It's a nice Flair card. Flair was kind of a higher-end card in the mid-90s. So this is from 93. I've only got a few Flair racing cards because the packs were so expensive. Because they were they were in these little bitty uh, cardboard boxes and you opened them up and then they were wrapped in cello on the inside. So we have an 89 Donruss there. It looks like, what is this? This is a checklist of Flair and we have 88 Donruss, Frank Williams. I don't think that is the Frank Williams that owned the F1 team, of course. Donruss MVP, this again was uh, kind of like a precursor to inserts. Because it should be numbered BC something, whatever the card number is. So Donruss was one of the first ones to start putting insert cards in their packs. Juan Gunn. It's a second year card, I think, or third. Second year if it's 91. I always get 91 and 92 so confused. So yeah, it's a 1991 top, so it's his second year because 90's his rookie. We have Barry Larkin. Very nice. We'll set him aside. He's a Hall of Famer. Greg Swindell. Let's see, we've got some various 90 and... Here's a 90 and 91 dot, or upper deck. You can kind of see how similar they are in design. I mean, the 91 has that little beige strip across the bottom. <laughs> Excuse me. Allergies still going kind of crazy around here, but I'm trying to make sure I'm good to go as much as I can before I film these. Henry Rodriguez. Dusty Baker, 80... Seven Fleer. I always like this set as well. I just I, I love I like these cards that have that faded look where they go from a darker color to a lighter color. Luis Aquino, that's eighty nine or ninety one score, ninety two score. I'll get it right here in a minute. There's a ninety Fleer. And we have here Todd Hundley. Not real familiar with him, Gerald Young. Hensley Mullins. Mullins. Got some 1990 Donruss here. Set this little bit aside. Make it a little bit easier to sort here. Who do we have? Can't read it. Can't read it. Flip it over. Maybe it'll be easier to read on the back. Mel Rojas. Ryan Thompson. So definitely a lot of... Uh, Common cards here. Jeff Kent. Jose Rijo. He was pretty good. 
Sid Bream, 87 tops. Ben McDonald, he was kind of a highly uh, scouted prospect, especially with cards. You know, you had him or Todd Zeal. If you pulled him and or Todd Zeal in 1990, everybody was, you know, you boy, you got the hot pack. Who we have here? Um, Tony Fernandez. We've got some 87 Donruss. Of course, this is what the racing throwback is for 2020 Donruss. For this year. Because I can't wait for the 89. I can't wait for 2022 Donruss racing because I want to see those 89 Donruss throwbacks. I think those will look really nice. Joel Skinner. Got some other 93 Donruss here, it looks like. Carmelo Martinez. Dave Winfield, I believe he's a Hall of Famer, but we'll set him aside for our Donner's set. Well, I'll set them all, all that we come across. <clears throat> Rob Dibble, who's practicing yoga mid-pitch, it looks like. 89 tops, Pat Borders. Bubba Trammell. Jay Buhner. Tom Browning. So we've got several members of the early 90s, eight or Reds pitching staff there. James Baldwin. Who is this? Superstar Special. Paul Molitor and Brett Butler. And this is from 92 Fleer. Langston and Witt, no hit Mariners, Milt Collier. Then we have the last part of our stack here. Looks like a 93 tops. Yep, nailed that one. Jose Uribe. We're going to look for him on our 1990 Fleer pack here in a minute. Because that's that card that's been crazy the last few years there on you know eBay sales. For whatever reason, and nobody seems to know why. Bob Walk. I've heard all sorts of stories from money laundering to super rare air cards, etc., etc. But nobody can seem to come up with a reason why why the uh, Jose Uribe card has sold for several thousands of dollars just up and out of the blue. So there's, uh, there's Bo Bichette's dad, I believe it is, Dante Bichette. Rookie class, who's this? Juan Castro, not familiar with him. Eric Shaw. Keith Hernandez, 89 Fleer. I think it's the first 89 Fleer we've seen today. There's Todd Zeal, we spoke about him earlier. So we got both of the big prospects from the 1990 card sets that kind of mellowed out over time. I don't think by any stretch of the imagination they were Todd Van Poppel level, level uh, I don't want to say failure, but they just didn't <clears throat> pan out the way they were projected to. So looks like we got a couple Hall of Famers. I see Dave Winfield. I just seen uh, Alan Trammell. So a few, few decent cards in here. You know, nothing, uh, nothing that we'll make a mint off of, but definitely stuff that I can add to sets that I'm building. Now here, here comes this little, little patch of newer stuff. So we'll see what we'll end up with here on the newer side of it. We got Carl Edwards Jr. These are all going to be sideways now. Great. Abel de los Santos, Kansas City Royals, Zach Britton. Trevor Rosenthal, and they just got him going every which way. Mad Bum, that's not too bad. And David Ortiz, so we'll take those two. Angels team card, D. Gordon. Masahiro Tanaka. And looks like we got a couple more cards. Uh, Grinky, Arietta, and K Kershaw. <clears throat> Another triple player card, Miggy, Bogarts, and Altuve. It's not too bad. And then the final one is another Angels card there. Did we get two Angels team cards? 
I'm going to look at these off camera for just a second. We did get two Angels team cards. Didn't know if there's going to be a difference in either one of them. And I don't think there is. I just want to look on the backs. and The only variation that I can see, and it's not a very strong variation, is just a slight tinge of color on the back. But did get two of the Angels team cards. So it looks like our best cards might have been the Angels team cards. A couple Hall of Famers here. And a couple current you know, stars of the game, or, of course, David Ortiz recently retired, but still very, fairly current uh, card there. We'll go ahead and open up this pack of 1990 Fleer Baseball. There you see the back of it, a free collector's pin, only $4.99. <clears throat> Plus, I'm sure, some ridiculous amount of shipping and a number of packs that you had to mail in and so on and so forth. See a Hall of Famer already on the back. Angels card there, Candy Candy Maldonado, we start off with, John Dobson, Mark Grace, I believe his rookie was in the 85 tops, of course he was a big prospect, he didn't have a super stellar career, but he was definitely had name recognition throughout, Gary Thurman, Mackie Sasser, Pete O'Brien, Barry Larkin, so we got one, then we got Mike Scott and Nolan Ryan. And Dave Clark, Ron Darling. A couple more here, Mickey Tettleton, and then Carlton Fisk. So for overall, not really a bad pack, considering who we got. We got the Barry Larkin and Carlton Fisk single player cards, and the 300 strikeout club of Nolan Ryan and Mike Scott. Well, guys, I appreciate you watching. That's uh, pretty much... Uh, Pretty much it for today. Tomorrow, I think, we'll get started. Tomorrow night's <clears throat> video. Looking for the box over here. But uh, tomorrow night, we will go ahead and open up this uh, 2018 box of Bowman. I'm sorry. Oh, man. My, my head. 2018 box of Donruss. I was thinking about some Bowman cards earlier. 20... 2018 box of uh, Donruss NASCAR Racing. Since there's 24 packs in here, I'm going to split this up into four videos, and we'll just open one stack each day, and then the fifth day we'll go ahead and open up the the uh, other repack box over there. But once again, we're up to 145 subs, so I appreciate everybody subscribing. Those that you're new to the channel, when we get to 500 subs, those easels in the back will have... Uh, some cards on them. There'll be relic cards. We'll be doing a giveaway at 500. We're either going to have a football, a wrestling, a racing, or a baseball card back there. There will be one from each sport represented. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you are chosen as the lucky subscriber when we have the contest, you will get to pick which one of those four cards that you will have interest in. So that will happen when we get to 500 subs. Of course, we did a rookie card giveaway at 100. So I do appreciate everybody that participated in that. And I know we'll have a lot more participating in it when we get to the 500 level. <clears throat> so in any way, do appreciate you guys watching. Take care. Hope you enjoy your Sunday, and we will see you again tomorrow. Have a great night.